Thank you for inviting me in, Mr. Harker. No, thank you. Thank you for doing business with us. Mr. Hawkins and I only treat our clients with the highest esteem. Mr. Harker, do tell, is this lovely creature? Ah, yes. This is my wife. We are newly wed. Mina, this is Mr. Hawkins and I's client from Romania. Count Dracus. Please, Mr. Harker. Ah, yes. My apologies. This is Baron von Dracul. No, I apologize. I only insist on my new title to bequeath my new land ownership. You see, I come from a noble family who at one point had much influence in Europa. However, that influence came with a shameful past, one I wish to put behind me. My noble title was once Count, however, I now wish to relinquish my title for a new subsidiary, Baron, a title suitable to the new land I have purchased from your husband. Duly noted, Baron, it's a pleasure to meet your acquaintance. Mrs. Harker, the pleasure is all mine. Oh, please, call me Mina. No, Mrs. Harker. Please, we are in the presence of a lord. Mr. Hawkins and I are beginning construction on the Baron's new estate. In the meantime, I have invited his lordship to stay here. <laughs> Baron, if you are to be needing anything, Mrs. Harker will cater to you. She's a lovely wife to me, and I know we'll treat you with the same respect. Certainly, Baron. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Harker. I assure you I will make for an easy house guest. <clears throat> uh, in my old age, my appetites for food have diminished. <clears throat> uh, if you'll excuse me, Mr. Harker, I believe I left my handkerchief in the wagon. Mr. Harker? Mrs. Harker? So, he is to stay here until the construction of his manor is finished? Yes. And please, cater to him. He has paid us a large sum for the services of his relocation. It will open many new paths for Mr. Hawkins and I. If he should need anything, anything at all, do it. He is a lord and should be treated suchly. I would ask you to begin preparing his room, but he has asked for complete privacy in his chambers. He's quite the secluded man. I learned this during my stay at his castle. Speaking of which, I fear I may have left my father's knife at the Baron's castle. You haven't seen it anywhere, have you? No, my love. Perhaps you left it at Mr. Hawkins' office? Perhaps. I shall check the office as I rendezvous with Mr. Hawkins. Will you're, you still look for it in my absence? You're leaving. I but you've only just arrived. Yes, I know. But we must still speak to the state and to the contractors before we begin construction on the Baron's Manor. Goodbye, my love. Expect my return this time tomorrow morning. Then at last, we shall reconvene. Would you please tidy things up a bit for the Baron? Thank you. Goodbye, my love.
forgive me, Baron, you frightened me. My apologies, dear Mina. I have a silent gesticulation. Also, I'm afraid I must go against your husband's wishes and insist on calling you Mina. I would hope my living here lapses the petty demands of formality. Certainly, Baron. And likewise, as much as I covet my new title, I must insist that you address me as Dracula. Yes, Lord Dracula. And might I inquire, why do you carry a sword as a walking stick? My apologies, Baron. I suppose it's none of my business. Dracula. And that's quite all right. As I mentioned, I come from a family with a shameful past. One I hope to escape here. However, I would be a fool to deny the, the fortune and glory my name comes from. Try as I may, I will never escape my family's past wrongdoings. I must carry our burdens by my side, much like this sword. Its name is Koltorosu, and it has a long history of spilling blood. I see. And. Is there anything I can do for the Baron Dracula before I retire? <clears throat> Only to make sure you sleep soundly and safely. Good night, dear Mina. Good night, Dracula. What are you doing? I told you not to enter Dracula's room. Ow! What were you going to do? Go to bed with him? Please him? You harlot!
Dracula. I seem to have formed a mischievous routine of startling you, dear Mina. No fault of yours. I startle easily. I have seen in your eyes that your heart dances upon a precipice. Blood runs quickly through your veins like lightning. Are you plagued, Mina? No. No. I but only have trouble sleeping when my husband is away. Since I have no doubt startled you beyond laying to rest again. <clears throat> Perhaps you'll join me for a glass of wine. I would be pleased. This wine was vinified from a grove my family once owned. It has since been burned to ashes. Its name is Guerra de Dragost. And it is now the last of its kind. Why, Baron, I couldn't. It's quite all right. I would like to show my thanks to your husband, Mr. Harker, and to yourself, dear Lena. Please. Drink. <clears throat> I must confess that I also share this wine with you now, you know, because it reminds me of my home. And I am homesick. As I saunter the halls of your home, my soul is restless. It searches for the long corridors and cold stone of my castle vestibule, as well as the jagged, twisted oaks and black rock of the Carpathian Mountains. <clears throat> However, in my homesickness, I have still found some solace in this new land. Your wondrous visage, sweet Mina. Baron. <clears throat> in my now former home, Romania, we have adopted rather unconventional appetites that others often look down upon. I am hoping that you can assist me in satiating my Romanian hunger, Mina, and that in doing so, I will be cured of my homesickness. But first, tell me, Mina, did your husband command you to obey my every whim, will, and desire? Because if he has, then I request that you confide in me. I wouldn't say he commanded me. I am grateful to anyone who would do my husband business. Before I ask you to assist me in my plight, I must know that you are doing it of your own free will and not because you have sworn your husband to obey me. Yes. You would become a vessel to quench my thirst? Yes. You will surrender to my desires? Yes. I must hear the words from you again, Mina, that you do not do this at the command of your husband or of myself, but of your own volition. True to my own desires and sound of my own mind, I will be your vessel. 
Dracula. Excellent. Sangere, alturate mai venice. Prao sati su sangale. Eternal damnation upon them. Eternity has no beginning nor end.